Well, so we will be deriving the equations of motion now by using the calculus. So some basic assumptions we have to make that the body is moving with constant acceleration. Acceleration A. Yeah. At t equal to zero, u sorry, velocity is equal to is equal to u and displacement is equal to c. This is given, and now they want to find out the equations of velocity of the three and u u. At p equal to zero, the initial velocity na, and p equal to zero, velocity is equal to u. Alright. Now, by definition, instantaneous acceleration is written as what? Divinity. Divinity is equal to a. Right. Divinity equal to a implies dv equal to what? A dv. A dv. Now we integrate on both sides. Right? We use definite integration. So how do you put definite integration? Units dv initial time is 0. Right? Final time is t. Initial velocity is 0. Now v u u. Initial velocity u and final velocity v. Definite time will be forever. Or I have a definite for the ball. Definite decimal. Dv can integrate for the key as well as v. V as the limits of a u or v. And a b t can integrate for the a is what? Constant or variable? No, 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 no. A is constant or variable? Constant. Right. Constant acceleration a. A is constant. So any constant goes out of the integration. It will be a integration of b t from 0 to t. Alright? Yes. Now, so v minus u this will be simply once v k plus by v minus v k plus by u right yeah. so that t or a integration of v t is t from 0 to t so that will be v minus a t equal to a t minus 0 so and we write v equal to u plus a agree to yes or no done First equation, but is the right. First equation of motion done. Now, look at this equation and tell me, is u constant or variable? Variable. Constant. It is the velocity at t equal to zero. So at t equal to zero means a particular value. Okay. So u is a constant. Constant acceleration for the initial velocity zero. Now, initial velocity zero. Okay, I am going to learn. Starting from rest. Starting from rest for the initial velocity is zero. Okay, cool. So now that you think constant is something that means you go a particular instant of time with velocity. That is constant. Acceleration is also constant. Only two variables: velocity and time. So the velocity or time. Now, important thing. Next step to find out displacement, you write velocity as what? Yes, it is. Right, so again, V is equal to ds by dt. So you can write ds equal to vdt. Yes or no? I am not. V is equal to 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 देखो इनिशियल डिस्प्लेसमेंट कितना है जीरो सो ये जीरो टू एस होगा और ये जीरो टू डी एस एम जीरो तक एस जीरो तक डी का है ये बारे डी एस के इंटीग्रेट को लेके आवे एस जीरो टू एस और एट आउट से यू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ डी टी प्लस ए इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ टी डी जीरो टू टी एंड दिस इज जीरो तो हम बोल रहे थे � S minus zero equal to v t can integrate for the t minus zero t limits t limits zero to t plus a t square by two 
তাহলে স্যাপ একটুই ধরবে আমাকে একটুই স্যাপ ধর করে ধরবে স্যার বলল হচ্ছে স্যার সঞ্জয় স্যার ওদের তো পুরো এক লাইন হ্যাঁ সঞ্জয় স্যার এক লাইন you input t minus zero because i'm writing down every step why so that you don't miss out on anything the transition transition ekta hoy to hoye gele tokhon dekhe ami rocket er speed down korbo plus look at this a by 2t square i can write it as half at square right ha ya ha apni scale te bhai tale this will be s equal to t plus half at square Done. Done. Yes. Now the main problem. Now, we again start from the same definition. Understand this part very carefully. Don't write anything. Don't write anything. Look at the board, everyone. Again, B equal to B S D T. We know this. We know this. B equal to B S D T. Now tell me, can I write? Sorry, sorry, sorry. We are starting from this one. A equal to degree. Acceleration equal to degree. We starting from the initial one. Now, see, I'm making a small change. Can I write it like this? Yes. Now, uh, multiplying and dividing by ds. Degree ds into ds degree. That is my man. Now, for ds to divide it into ds by degree. Okay. Now tell me what is D S D T? Velocity. Velocity. So can I write this as B? Uh, this expression becomes A into B D V D S. A is equal to B D V D S. Now tell me. Can I write this? Agree? Everyone agree with me? Question is why did I do this? To get rid of time. Because in the third equation, do we have time? Third equation with time variable, how much pass? So whenever, remember this this trick. This is a very important trick. Whenever you get need to get rid of the time variable, you can always write acceleration as dv ds. By definition, acceleration is dvity. You make a small transposition, it becomes dv ds. Now you bring ds on one other side, and now it. What is the variable operator over here? D S. So you need to put the variable of zero to S. And B D operator is B. So you do do this indication and tell me what is the concept coming out. Okay. Oh, I'm right. Otherwise, नहीं होगा 